What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I am a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience studying biomedical science at the University of Birmingham. I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly what it was like for me from the coursework to the exams, uh, to the degree itself. And I'm also gonna be comparing it a little bit to medicine, which is what I do now. And if you're interested in either biomedical science or medicine, do stick around, watch the video, and hopefully you guys get some benefit from it. I wanna start by saying that I'm not gonna be talking about which degree is better because neither degree is better than the other one. What really matters when considering what you want to do in your future is what degree suits you better. You know, biomedical science is more suited for a certain type of person and medicine is more suited for a certain type of person. So hopefully this video will give you a taste of what biomedical science is like and how it might compare to medicine. If you're in biomedical science already or you're thinking about studying it and you want to get a bit more help on writing an essay or in getting a head start on your dissertation, I have ebooks on that. So if you want to get a copy of either of my ebooks on how to write an essay or get the exact copy of the dissertation that I wrote in biomedical science, hit the link down below in the description to grab yourself a copy. So I'll be breaking down this video into three sections. The first is going to be talking about the teaching that I had in biomedical science. The second is the workload that we had. And lastly, I'm going to be giving a general comparison of what it's like to study biomedical science in comparison to medicine. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I want to start by talking about what the teaching was like in biomed. So teaching basically consisted of three things. Uh, the first being lectures, second being small group tutorials, and lastly being labs. Lectures were basically what you see normally in all universities, where all 200 of you sit in front of a teacher and they deliver lectures. Small group teaching sessions and tutorials basically consisted of um, small groups of up to around 10 people with one teacher, where you go into a bit more depth in certain topics of modules. And it's a chance where you get to work in small groups and really discuss and try and understand certain topics. In regards to labs, we normally had labs around once a month, uh, where you'd actually do practical lab work in a lab, get your hands dirty with cells or with tissues, um, with various different things. That that was all the lab work that you do, which I found quite fun. During our first year of biomedical science, we covered all of the basic sciences, normally consisting of uh, biology and chemistry, and also learning about how the human body works at the cellular level. All of this was compulsory, and we had no option in terms of what we wanted to study, and that's exactly what everyone had to learn in all, in all the first year. In second year, we then went on to cover all the different organ systems in the body. That included endocrinology, uh, neurology, um, gastroenterology, cardiology, respiratory sciences, all of the basic uh, organ systems within the human body. And again, all of these lectures were compulsory and we had no choice and decision in terms of what we wanted to learn. This definitely varies between universities. I know some universities were very open with you choosing what modules you wanted to take in second year especially, but this didn't apply to my university. In final year of biomed, the year was split into two. Uh, the first part of the year was based on two modules which we finally got to select. I personally chose to study cancer and stem cells in my final year as my two selected modules modules and the other half of the year was based on our dissertation. If you're not so sure what dissertation is, a dissertation is basically a big piece of coursework that you submit in your final year and in biomed that tends to be some sort of research project that you do and for that I chose again to look at cancer cells and as I mentioned if you'd like a copy of my dissertation that I wrote for myself and that I managed to get a first class in, a link for that is down below. During our dissertation final year we had the choice of either doing a web project or a dry project a web project is basically what you do in a lab. So I personally went into a lab for, um, for, for a couple of weeks and I did loads of cell work. Uh, you also have the choice of doing a dry project which involved you sitting down on a desk at a computer and doing your research there. But both types of projects uh, finally led up to you writing a big piece of work, uh, which is your dissertation, which for me was around 20,000 words. All right, so now I'm gonna be talking about what the workload was like in biomed. And oh my God, was there a lot of it. Biomed was a very, very heavy course. And to be honest with you, I'd probably say that we had just as many hours in biomed as we do in medicine. Although those hours are spent uh, differently in different areas, there definitely was almost, if not exactly the same amount of hours that we have in medical school. All of our lectures and all of our hours were absolutely compulsory, meaning that we had to show up to every single session and sign in. Because in medicine, the only things that were actually compulsory were the clinical related things. All of the lectures were completely uh, online. You can sit in bed and watch lectures yourself. Some days, honestly, during years one and two, we had nine to fives back to back. Like we had, I think in, in first year, we had like 200 lectures and probably the same in second year as well. So sometimes we had back to back lectures from nine to five, which was definitely uh, quite hard. Alongside our lectures as well, which made, which was really, really tough is that we always, always had coursework. You were never free from coursework in biomed. We always had some sort of, uh, you know, essay to write, uh, presentation to prepare for, a lab report to make. We always had a piece of coursework which was pending, which added a lot of stress throughout the whole entire year. Whereas in medicine, we have very, very little coursework 
coursework at least in my university. During the year, we may have two, maybe maximum three pieces of coursework to write. I think I've only written like one or two essays in the whole of um, university so far in medicine. And that's what I found really difficult with biomed is that there always was something to be working on, always coursework to do. Whereas in medicine at King's, the majority of the year um, has no coursework and all you have to do is, you know, stay on top of your lectures, show up to the hospital and prepare for your exams, which come later on in the year. Again, in regards to the workload, in biomed, we had very few days off. I honestly, looking back at my timetable, I only think I had around two days off in the whole three years of the degree. This again is university dependent, but at least at Birmingham, we had around two, maybe maximum three days off in the whole degree probably. Whereas in medicine, um, there are days off here and there. Of course, as you enter the later years, like years four and five of medicine, you don't tend to have days off because you're working in hospital, but certainly in years one, two, and three, there are days off uh, scattered here and there. For example, in my third year of medicine, from January till May, I had around two days off a week, which was absolutely amazing. So there definitely are some days off um, in medicine, which makes life a lot easier. Another thing to consider in regards to the workload is that in biomed, you almost always have study leave. So before you have any sort of big exam, you are given a number of weeks off to prepare for these exams whereas medicine it's so so crazy that sometimes we have placement up until the day before our exam you're not really given any time in medicine to study for your exams sometimes if you're lucky there will be a week or two there but generally speaking in medicine and at least in my university we're not given much study leave at all and you have to work and prepare for your exams throughout the whole entire year whilst you're still in hospital whilst you're working on other things in the degree the good thing about biomed is in terms of holidays we had a lot of them uh, during biomed in christmas we had around five weeks off uh, we had a around uh, four months, three or four months of summer. We also had reading weeks. So we do have time off here and there throughout the year. Whereas in medical school, we have around two weeks off for Christmas, only a couple of days for Easter. And, and in first and second and third year, you do get long summer, but after third year, all of your summer is around two weeks long. So that is really a big thing that I miss in biomed is having holidays, having some time off from uni, whereas in medicine that doesn't really work. And especially when you get into the clinical years, when you're in the hospital 24 seven, you're more expected to be like a doctor and show up you know on your shift all of the time and you don't really get much time off uh, from uni to be honest with you i'm sure you guys are probably thinking what the exams were like in biomed compared to medicine and i know it's going to sound really crazy and really weird but during biomed i honestly found those exams much harder than medicine relatively speaking but i'll tell you guys exactly why the first thing is that in biomed we had so many exams in first year i think we had around eight exams in second year we had 10 exams and in third year we had three exams in medical school, at least in my university, we have around uh, three written exams throughout the entire year and also one OSCE, which is your practical exams. And of those three exams that we have throughout the year, only one of them actually counts, which is a summer exam, as well as our OSCE practical exam. And these are normally like one, two hour exams. So compared to biomed, where those exams would sometimes be two or three hours long, the exam load in biomed was absolutely crazy. I can honestly say that in medical school, I haven't lost a minute of sleep uh, during exam period. Whereas in biomed, I remember there was, in second year, there was a stretch of nights where I had around two, maybe three hours max sleep for around three or four days. The exams gave me so much stress in biomed and I'm not gonna lie, that is the absolute truth. In medicine, the written exams are actually multiple choice as well, which is a godsend. The stress is so much less with multiple choice exam. Of course, the OSCE exams, which are practical exams, are quite hard, but I find OSCE exams quite fun where you actually get to interact with patients and you're tested on all of your knowledge. But in terms of the written exams, in biomed, they expected so much from us. You know, for example, in our third year, all of our exams were essay based so we had to write huge essays we had to know the content all in our head we had to reference we actually had to reference in a full exam, which is crazy. And the fact that the written exams in medicine are all multiple choice, at least the answers there on the paper. All you have to do is cross out um, the most obviously wrong answers and you know choose between maybe one or two questions, which may be the correct answer. And of course in medicine, you know, diagno diagnosing people is quite difficult, but at least the answers down the paper and there's not too much stress on that. Whereas in biomed, you had to like conjure up a whole entire essay from your head on a specific niche part of a module, which you may not have touched on that much that to me i found quite hard in medicine all you have to do is memorize all the lectures and understand all of the lectures really well you know exactly what you need to know they give you the lectures you know you you know exactly what the modules are to become a doctor and what you need to meet to become a doctor you can read the books you can read the lectures you know exactly what you need to know whereas in biomed a lot of it was yourself you know in finally particularly a lot of the exams and revision was entirely yourself you had to read papers online to educate yourself you had to remember you had to remember references and you had to try and predict 
conflict, what questions may come up in the exam so you can know which part of the module to study more on. I found that really difficult. I much prefer sitting back, knowing exactly what I need to know in terms of my content, learning that and then going to sit to the exam. So that was my experience in terms of the workload, in terms of teaching. I'm now gonna to talk to you guys about um, how it generally compares to medicine. And I'm gonna try and do my best to do this. It is quite hard to compare the two degrees because although they are quite similar, they're also very different in a number of ways. I wanna start by talking about stress. So stress in biomed, the way I kind of describe it to people when they ask me this question is that in biomed, you have a low level of stress, but for a longer period of time. Whereas in medical school, you have a higher amount of stress, but only for short periods of time. In medical school, school I'm chilling throughout the year like throughout the year I'm chilling I show up to my hospital placements I do what I need to do in terms of going to lectures and learning my lectures we don't have much coursework so throughout the year I'm chilling when it comes to biomed throughout the entire year you always have coursework to do you have you know lectures to attend you have um, presentations to give you have essays to write and the thing with biomed is that everything that you write and everything you submit for marking it determines the rest of your life if you don't do well in a coursework in biomed, you, you work really hard for a paper, you write a, a perfect essay, you get the result back and you get a two two, you get 50, 60%. That really, really like makes you so sad because you know a lot of your life is based on the results you get. Whereas in medicine, all you have to do is, you know, put some work in throughout the year, put in extra work during the exam period, sit the exams which tend to be more stressful because they're OSCE exams and really big exams you need to pass. So that period of time during my exam period is a lot more stressful in medicine but at least throughout the year I'm chilling and that's the best way I can kind of put it. As I said in medicine you know exactly what you're working towards. You know you want to be a doctor so the stress levels tend to be a bit lower whereas as I mentioned in biomedical science everything you submit is going to be graded everything you submit is going to be judged by the next person reading your application for you know for medical school for a phd for a master's everything you submit will be on your record and everyone will be able to see which makes that a lot more stressful but again that depends on your personality some people might find medicine more stressful because you're dealing with patients you know you're going to the hospital every single day you have to do like difficult things like taking blood from people one day you may be doing cpr on a patient you may have to be putting in cannulas in people's arms to some people that can be quite stressful for me that suits my personality quite well and i'd rather be chilling and not doing coursework throughout the year but focusing mainly on patients and focusing on uh, on helping patients whereas some people might find the dealing with patients very very stressful and may prefer actually doing doing coursework so definitely take what i said about this with a pinch of salt and just think about how that might suit your personality again medicine comes with a good amount of job security if you get 50 percent in any exam in medical school you're guaranteed to become a doctor whereas in biomed if you get 50 percent on any exam any piece of coursework like you're tripping like that really is going to affect your, your future and especially if you want to apply for competitive things in your future. What I'd also like to say is that both degrees stretch you in different ways. As I said it really depends on your personality and what, what, and what matches your personality. Medical school mostly stretches you in terms of like having to deal with all the emotional side of things, having to deal with patients, having to learn new skills all of the time. Biomed stretches you because there's a lot of different coursework you have to do. You have to learn different skills, you know, how to write essays, how to present, how to write posters. So they, they, they stretch you in very different ways and you really need to think about what way you'd rather be stretched in. The competition in biomed also seems a lot more. Of course, in medicine, there is, you know, everyone in medical school is competitive. You're competing for jobs in the future. You're competing for your, uh, your foundation jobs as a student doctor. Whereas in biomed, between the students, personally, there seemed like a lot more competition because everyone is trying to be the best so they can make their application stronger for whatever they want to move on to do um, so personally i saw biomed as a lot more stress people being a lot more snakier um, there was a lot more stress in regards to compete against each other because in order to move on to something greater like a phd a master's program the medical school you had to be one of the best in terms of enjoyment of the actual degree i personally enjoy uh, medicine a lot more i really love biomedical science don't get me wrong it was one of my favorite things that i did in my whole entire life but in terms of the actual degree i personally prefer medicine and i feel that medicine uh, suits my personality more and the reasons are because I love how variable medicine is you know in the morning I could be dissecting a human being and dissection in the afternoon I could be on the hospitals um, you know um, in surgery doing a c-section uh, the next morning I could be in a lab the morning after that I could be in a different area of medicine in medicine you get to talk to so many different people I love how personal you are with, with different people how you get to learn about different lives and people like in what other degree and what other discipline in, in the entire world 
world would you ever meet um, a drug addict who has a very serious condition and needs someone to talk to there's no other degree or no, no no other job in the entire world and get the chance to help people who are going through very serious things i much preferred that human interaction compared to, um, to biomedical science where i'd spend a lot of the day sitting in lab by myself so i really really like the personal side of medicine and finally i also loved working towards a goal of becoming a doctor from day one of medical school you know exactly where you where you want to be you know exactly what you're working towards in, in biomedical science i really didn't like how i wasn't entirely sure what i was going to do there was not exactly something like you know set in stone that i was working towards of course i wanted to get to medical school so i love the same goal of working towards being a doctor all of the time in medical school some things in biomed for example learning how a particular cell type works a particular signaling pathway in a particular cell um, how that worked that really felt irrelevant to me some parts of the course just felt very relevant um, to me um, whereas in medicine i know that everything i'm doing is preparing me to become a better doctor and everything i learned on the course is absolutely essential in becoming that doctor that i want to be but that is basically my experience of studying biomedical science and uh, in comparison to medicine as well i want to conclude this video by reminding you guys that it really really depends on your personality medicine is not better than biomed biomed is not better than medicine i loved both degrees um you know almost equally i loved my time in biomed i loved the course i loved the degree i loved the skills it gave me the skills the skills that biomed gave me um, gave me skills that, that definitely will make me a better doctor it also gave me skills i can apply to any other part of my life so it really is down to you it's down to where you see yourself in the future it's down to the skills that you have it's down to the experiences you've had in your own personal life and where you might think uh, you might be better at i have a number of videos talking about my experience in medicine and how biomedical science has helped me in my past so feel free to go check them out as i said if you guys want a head start in how to write an essay or want to grab a copy of my dissertation in biomedical science or even a copy of my medicine personal statement have a look down in the description below thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope it's been somewhat informative to you don't forget to make sure you're subscribed turn on your post notifications and please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one